Nancy Michimaimo show and today's edition is a very special one. We are so happy that you joined us today. On this we are on a cruise. A cruise is called the missions. It's a mission. So this gentleman here with me are people, you know, with great heart. They are selfless men. They are men that sacrifice their whole life and their entire time serving humanity. And today we are on a medical trip fundraiser. And this gentleman here will introduce themselves. They have been doing such an incredible job, I'm telling you. So please tell tell us what is your name about. My name is Rob Willis, MD, father of physician. I am from New Jersey. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. What is your name, sir? I am Robert Clark MD. I'm president of medical mission and Wow. What is a medical mission? We are about to find out. So before we talk to them, I would like to tell you what I'm doing here. I'm having an incredible time. We are on a cruise. It's a fundraiser trying to raise money for the great things they're doing back in Jamaica, correct? Great things they're doing helping Jamaicans um, receive a better life. You know, helping them, you know, with nurses and great things. So tell us, what is the genesis? How did the medical mission start? When did you start and how did you start, sir? You know, we have been uh, doing this for a very long time. In 1996, uh, we got together and formed our medical mission. And we were going to Jamaica to treat the disadvantaged people. Who we cannot afford medical treatment. And there's a lot of people who, because of the, the disease or the condition, they will not go to the doctor and pay a fee. They will stay home. You have people in the third world country who are never seeing a doctor. Now, we realize that there are these people in Jamaica and we form a uh, organization and uh, with Jamaica to give them free medical care. Free medical free care. Free medical care. We go to Jamaica with, uh, with with boxes of medication. We interview these patients and we give them free medication. In some cases, because we know that after we leave the country. They will not go to a doctor to see uh, you know, need to follow up. Sometimes we give them you know, medication to last them for an entire year. Wow. Free. This is awesome. So, Free. You know, we put to get together a team of doctors. Okay. And uh, another, another support staff. And we tell them that we spend seven, ten, we spend ten, ten, ten days plus. In the country, I give free meditation. We bring mainly we bring like uh, several thousand of medication, a thousand of dollars of medication. Like the last time we went to Jamaica, we uh, we bought like thirty plus boxes, forty five boxes, forty five boxes of medication. When we say medication, we're talking about a box of say metformin. Mm -hmm. A five or five hundred milligram or a thousand milligram. We have a bottle that holds a ten thousand pills, and we have boxes of those, and we call them forty-five boxes of medication. And uh, we give the medication out free to the people. That's awesome. In some cases, that lasts for an entire year. So then. Um, Recognize that there is a need for this. And we are from Jamaica. And uh, you know, we are very, it is very gratifying to see that when we give these people medication, it's not just diabetes, but they will do some medication. They will all kinds of health. That is big. That is big. That is big. Um, I am just in awe of the great work that you've been doing, Doctor. 
and um, I want to know more, and I'm sure the viewers would like to know more. What what prompted this? What inspired you um, to start this course? You know, I know a journey of a thousand miles started in one day. Can you tell us um, how did you start and why did you start this? Well, we are both from Hungary, from the beginning, we um, learned through um, you know, different areas, they live in different parts of the world, and we have never seen poverty. Mm -hmm. We have seen people who can work out their time and afford to eat much more fine, uh, one of the working class girls I've heard is said, you know, there are millions, there are actually thousands of people who have never seen that option. And, you know, we figured out we can make a difference. And by touching these people's lives so we go into the communities that are really, really part of the street and these people have never seen doctors and are can't afford to see doctors. So we, we bring medicine to that. You know, we go to the countryside, we go to the areas, and we actually go and and see them do physical, do you know, extensive workouts. And at some time we do surgeries, you know, and and um, once we see them and we, you know, diagnose their experiences, we give them medications to help, you know, so you know, hundreds of health action, you know, hundreds of medications. We give to them and talk to them since the last you know, four years. And then we ask them to follow up with local doctors or local clinics, which they almost never do. But, you know, we see them again the following year as follow up. And, you know, of the unfortunate thing is that we go to one year and twice. After the second visit, we give them hope that they will follow you know, the local clinics um, with their education. Wow, that's awesome. And, 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 and just listening to you, I, I can tell you that I, I, I'm just overwhelmed with, with joy to know that there are people like you. There are people that are concerned about you know, humanity. I, and for people like you giving back to the poor, to your country, that is wonderful, wonderful. And um, you know, I just heard you talk about follow up. It's so nice to know that you're not just giving them the medicine and just saying, hey, go take care of yourself. But you come back the next year to follow up and to make sure they're good. So, um, you know, I just say that you will need of the help of the government. Is there any way? You know that the government is helping you, the Jamaican government. Are they funding this or are they supporting this? Are there policies, you know, in place to aid, you know, the continuation of this course? Because it looks like I, I see from here from you, sir, you've been doing this for a very long time since 1996. You said that is a long time. So, do you get, you know, some kind of help from the government of Jamaica? No, this is all in the they have been fundraising like this. Um, the only thing is that sometimes, in terms of transportation, they kind of help us out at the time with transportation. But other than that, this is 100% funded by the Health Jamaican Medical Mission, and so fundraising like this that we do on a yearly basis. Even some doctors, like myself and Dr. Lewis, who actually go into our pockets at times, individually fund, you know, some of the part of these trips, you know, to help to provide medication when we fall short of the we try to fill the gaps and do the best we can. Wow, wow, that's awesome. You know, I wish my audience were here to give you a round of applause. <laughs> so viewers at home, please give them a round of applause. These people are doing incredible. And I can tell you, I am having a great time here. This is the biggest fundraiser I've ever attended. It's not just by numbers, but it's the joy flowing from the people. In there is a big party, it's happening live. The people are so excited. How are you able to get all this number of people show up for a fundraiser? People don't like to turn up for fundraiser, but you have over 500 people on this cruise having a great time. Right. Uh, well, um, but we, we have a number of fundraisers that we do to uh, get funds so that we can buy medication. In the past, a pharmaceutical company would help us with medication. Now, we are not getting any funding, any free medication for anyone. 
So we have to buy the medication until to until to our mission. So we have several fundraisers that help us to 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 buy the medication. We have four for the year. Uh, in, uh, in uh, April, we have a uh, a giveaway where we um, have uh, something like a rock, which will be a picture of okay. that uh, we make a couple of dollars from that. We have uh, this is the second one, which is the uh, boat ride in June. In June, and you can see what this boat ride is. Over 500 people in this boat ride. Almost 600 people in this boat ride. So we make some some funds from this boat ride also. The uh, third one is a uh, a cookout. We have a cookout that everybody get together, and uh, we have a cookout that you pay forty dollars. You come in in a backyard by a, a barbecue backyard by some. Sometimes we have forty to five hundred people there. Wow! Also. And then our our finale is a uh, is a black tie affair. Where we have five or six hundred people in the black tie affair, and the black tie affair um, is one hundred and twenty twenty-five hundred fifty dollars per person, and um, uh, we have five six hundred people there. And you know, so then, as everybody knows that this money is going towards the people to buy medication and to help the people who cannot afford it. To be um, to, to get medical care, and uh, we doctors we close our office for two weeks. Uh, we go to Jamaica, and uh, several doctors. When we go to Jamaica, it's like thirty of us. Thirty. That's a large it's like, number. It's a large number. It's like um, maybe twelve of us are doctors and, and, uh, and nurse practitioners. And uh, address our support staff and uh, our ophthalmologists. We, we will take with us like uh, 1,500 purified glasses. Everybody has those kind of glasses. Can you imagine if you are, you can appear, you are a person who will read the papers and uh, read your Bible and you're a Christian, and then all of a sudden you cannot see to read the Bible, oh. and then we go down and we Examine you and give you your yeah. eyeglasses. Uh, when you get an eyeglasses, you say, Oh my, oh my goodness, I can read the Bible again. Oh my Thank God. you, Doctor. Yes, yes. How oh, gratifying that is to us. Oh, that's so and beautiful. that's all we do. We just want to do good to the people, give them what they need, and uh, our heart is filled with joy. Mm. Our heart is filled with joy. We, uh, oh. we just do it. Go to the office, go down, uh, you know, but um, put our own money for our, our, our fare, or our, our, um, our beer fare, and room and boarding, room and boarding, the government will produce transportation, and then the site that we go to will produce, will give us uh, lunch for, for the day. And then we have to find our way back to the um, wherever we're staying or we're recording. Oh, wow. And, uh, and uh, that, that's, that's how we do it. That's beautiful. You know, we just um, give them back to the people. Give them back to the people that um, we grow up with. Wow, wow. Did you just hear that? That's, that's just beyond awesome. You know, there's anything beyond awesome. It's not about us, it's not about them. You know, sometimes it's not about you. It's just it's about other people that don't have what you have. And and tonight I I'm joining them to call upon you. A couple of you have written to us and you want to find you know a way to support NGOs like this. Um, you're looking for a way to support people that are genuine. They're not fraud. These people are real. And I'd like you to contact them. And you know, donate and the next uh, barbecue. Um, they're gonna tell us the the, the, the the schedule, the address. You know, register if you're around the United States. Um, there are lots of hotels in that area. 
you can also go to their website to donate or give them a call you know to support this great medical mission to jamaica and you never can tell through your giving you know it could extend to other you know poor countries other you know countries that can afford such great you know work that they are doing and i want to encourage you to be a part of this great mission the medical mission help jamaica this is awesome so tell us do you have a website what is your web address yes it's help jamaica medical mission so it's help jamaica mission that help jamaica mission dot com help jamaica mission dot com what is do you have a professional phone number they can contact and someone to be able to reach nine seven three three seven three three thousand nine seven three six seven four eight one zero zero incredible please um you know find time to go to the website call that number donate give you know, when you give, you just don't know the life that you will you will reach out to. And in there is an incredible thing. And thank you for joining us tonight. We look forward to hearing from you on this. And visit our, our blog, thejamaimashow.com. I will be posting all these details about this uh, trip and pictures and videos uh, for your, you know, viewer con consumption. So you can be able to actually identify and place, you know, their faces just in case you want to reach out to them, which we appreciate. Thank you so much for joining us, Delaware. Thank you, America. Thank you, Jamaica. You know, I am having a great time in there. I will show you. Go to our Facebook page and you'll see a couple of live videos that were already shot in there with all the grooving and people happy. Thank you once again and do have a blessed evening. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for coming on the Jamaica Show. And we look forward to having you in Delaware live. Yeah, we are bringing we you live, Delaware.